Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss collections framework continuation topic how to develop custom collection. First point, can you tell me what is a custom collection? Any concept is come up with the word called custom, it means you are defining yourself. A program or something created by ourself by extending existing API is called what custom. I am developing one new class by extending existing API for collecting different objects that is why this class is called custom collection. A collection class or a class that we developed for collecting objects or storing objects as a one group that class is called custom collection. Second point I am moving, why we have to develop custom collection when we have already array object. For grouping different objects, already we have array object, then why I need custom collection? Okay, array have a four problems, problem number one, type problem, yes, to solve the type problem, we can use object array. How object array is solving the problem? It is a super class of all classes. So, using object array if we create inside that object array locations, we can store any type of object. So, using object array, we can store any object. So, type problem we can solve. For more elaboration, please watch previous videos. Next problem of array is a size problem. Size problem you cannot solve automatically, compulsory you have to write some logic. So, to solve the array object size problem, we are going to develop one class, that class nothing but I naming it as custom collection as we are developing by ourselves. So, basically we are developing custom collection, the main reason behind we are developing custom collection to solve object to array size problem for storing different type of homogeneous heterogeneous object without size limitation. Okay. Now, let me try to understand what is the basic program architecture for developing custom collection. So, repeating once again, we are developing custom collection only for solving the problem of object array. Okay. Then, I, we, I wanted to store different objects and multiple objects into the object array without size limitation for that we are going to create custom collection. So, we are developing this class around object array that point you please remember. Now, let me try to ask some questions. If you want to develop a class, what are the different things you can write inside a class? Custom collection is nothing but one class. Now, I am going to create one class here, class called some name. Okay? I am not worrying about what is the name. And the next, now inside a class generally we will create what variables and we will create what constructors and we will create methods. Right? So, we will create a class, variables, constructors and methods. Then, if you carefully observe, variables meant for allocating memory, constructors meant for storing values inside these variables, nothing but initializing these variables inside one object and methods are meant for performing different operations on this. Okay? Then, uh, what you can think here, constructors are meant for storing values inside this and methods are meant for performing different operations on these variables. Right? Uh, now, so basically, we will create a class with different variables, constructors and methods. Then, now try to answer. I would like to as a problem of student. I want to store student values. I want to perform student operations. Then we would like the class name as what? Student. Student values related storing variables. Student operations related methods. I wanted to solve the problem of employee. Then class name is employee and uh, employee value storing required variables. Employee operations performing required methods. Okay. Similarly, can you tell me, you are going to develop this custom collection for solving object array. So, I would like to take this class name as NIT collection. The reason I am taking the name as NIT collection, it is a collection class performing operations of storing collection operation. Now, this class is developing by NIT company Naresha Technologies. For that, I am taking this class name as NIT collection for separating them from predefined collections. Okay. Now, the question, here can you tell me inside NIT collection, what I should create here? Okay. Can anybody tell me what should I create? Variables. What variables I have to create? I have wanted to solve the problem of object array. I have to take here what? Object array, OBJ array, something like this. 
I have to create variable of type object array and then now here I have to develop constructors, constructors for initializing that and then next word methods, methods for performing operations on this object array. So, now tell me what is the basic collection, custom collection object template. So, first one you have to create array object and then inside this class constructors and then next what methods and then now what the code I have to write constructor meant for initializing this variable with a new array object and the methods are meant for initial I mean performing different operations on this array. Can you tell me what are the different operations we can perform on this array object already you know seven operations adding, counting, searching, retrieving, removing, replacing and inserting operations. This is the basic idea on how to create a custom collection template, program template. Now, we have to develop custom collection, okay. Till then I hope you got clarity. So, I covered three points up to now, let me recollect. First point, what is custom collection? A new class we are creating for collecting different objects by solving array object size problem is nothing but custom collection. The word custom came into picture because we are creating by, by extending the existing API. Here, we can consider API is nothing but object array, okay. So, object array problem solving purpose we are writing one new thing there. So, we call it as custom. Second point, uh, now we are creating this custom collection class not for solving the type problem. To solve the type problem of array, we have already object array. So, we are creating custom collection to solve the size problem of object array. So, what is the program template we have to create? Create one class, inside class create object array type variable, then define constructor to create array object and store in obj, vari OBJ array variable and then define the methods using those methods. Now now, perform different operations on this array elements, the nothing but 7 operations. So, these are the 3 points we covered, ok. Now, I would like to understand next points, ok, fine. Let me try to understand next points. So, can you please recollect what are the problems we wanted to solve for by using custom collection size problem. How can we solve the size problem, ok. Let me try to understand small point. I am creating array object with some locations. Let us assume some 10 locations. Then into this uh, array, array, I have stored first element, second element, third element, fourth element, fifth element, sixth element, seventh element, eighth element and also ninth element. Okay? And of course, let us say tenth element. Okay? Totally 10 elements I have stored. What is the capacity of this array? 10 elements. After storing 10 elements, I am trying to store 11th element into this array, allowed or not allowed, not allowed. If you try to store 11th element, you will get array index out of bounds exception, array index out of bounds exception you will get. So, what is the problem of array? Size problem. To solve that size problem, we are using custom collection. Then using custom collection logic inside using this class logic, I have to solve the size problem. How to solve the size problem? Very simple technique. Please try to observe. Once you reach all the 10 elements are stored inside this array object, very simple. You create another array object with more capacity problem solved okay? and then copy all the elements copy all the 10 elements from the previous array into this array and now the 11th element what you would like to store that 11th element you store inside this new array object problem solved. So, to develop custom collection we have to write a logic such a way this array index out of bounds exception problem has to be solved. To solve this array index out of bounds exception problem, a simple technique you have to follow. That simple technique is, first you create array object with your own capacity, let us say 10 locations, then store all the 10 elements. After storing the 10 elements, 11th element whenever you are storing, you will get array index out of bounds exception. So, you must be little careful while storing. While you are storing the element, do not blindly store the element. First, you check array size and the number of elements you have stored inside this array equal to the capacity of the array, like maximum length, both are equal or not, you verify. If a size of the array equal to the capacity of the array object, do not store element. Instead, now you do one small activity, create a new array object with more capacity and then 
copy the old elements into this new array and store the new element in this new array and finally make this array object old array object make this old array object eligible for garbage collection and started adding all the new objects into this new array uh, how long you can add into this new array uh, up to the L, up to its capacity coming to last location once the size and the capacity equal to the second array once again you have to repeat this algorithm what create a new array object with more length more capacity and copy previous elements and then add new element in this new array that's all this this algorithm you have to repeat 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 developing the logic for solving the size problem by following repeated array objects creation background is nothing but what custom collection development okay so now instead of calling the this one custom collection you can also call collection because sun micro system given api classes also following 100% same mechanism no doubt in that okay now i would like to name this entire algorithm i would look i would like to call it as algorithm and that algorithm name is growable array algorithm now i wanted to try to uh, write all the steps about this algorithm whatever you have written let me try to finalize the algorithm or steps to develop custom collection very few simple steps first step what tell me create object array with some initial capacity right second step store objects in this array object if you keep on storing you will get definitely uh, what you call array index out of bounds exception before storing what I have to do so what is the first step create object array with some initial capacity let us say 10 and store objects in this array object and the third step before storing elements or objects check whether size is reached to its capacity equal to its capacity ok uh, now first well, next up is what if reached if equal or if reached then what to do now we have to perform some sub steps here what the sub steps number one increase we have to perform sub steps here what the first step create new array object with more capacity then after array object creation what should I do old element values I have to copy into new array copy old array elements into this new array ok and third uh, elements copied after elements copied into new array what should I do this new array object reference must have pointing to old array variable for making old, old array eligible for garbage collection and making new array as latest array ok. So, assign or assign new array reference to old array variable ok. So, these are the four sub steps for increasing the array capacity and last but not least now store new element nothing but new object now store new object in this new array so that we do not get any exception. So, what are the algorithm what is the algorithm please try to recollect now we finish this algorithm. Custom collection development is nothing but creating a new class for solving array object size limitation and solving array index out of bounds exception or storing multiple objects in object array without size limitation for that we have to perform five steps number one create object array with some initial capacity let us say 10 and store objects in this array before storing objects check whether size equal to equal to capacity so that we do not get array index out of bounds exception if size equal to equal to capacity if the size reach it to capacity then now here algorithm is started working create new array object with more capacity let us say double ok let me assume double first I created array object with 10 now next it is increasing to 20 then copy old array elements into this new array and third now assign new array reference to old array variable now store new object in this new array. So, uh, if you wanted to understand diagrammatic understanding about this algorithm quickly I can give you one small once again diagram understanding. So, first what I am telling create array object create array object with some capacity 
let us say 10 elements assume these are the 10 elements available here then inside this array object now you try to store all elements first element second element third element fourth element fifth element sixth element seventh element eighth element ninth and 10 elements are stored then now the now look at the size reach to its capacity once the size reach to its capacity what should i do i must create another array new array with 20 locations more more allocations 20 locations array you have to create then uh, now copy old array elements into this new array all old array elements you have to copy into this new array okay now the very important point here after copying all old array elements into this new array now make old array eligible for garbage collection for making old array eligible for garbage collection very simple it has a reference this new array reference you store inside old array variable now background what will happen we are holding this variable with one variable let us say obj array we are holding this array object with one variable obj array and uh, now this array variable uh, previously pointing to this object now after new array created we are copying this object reference here then this obj array variable started pointing to new array and now old array reference is gone and now this object eligible for garbage collection so then using this new array reference obj array pointing to old object then what happened now the new element instead of storing first array now it will store in second array at end of all elements that is all this is the simple algorithm what you have to implement as part of custom collection development i hope you understand the algorithm for this custom collection development so please try to recollect once again understand the diagram side and now we have to develop the code for uh, this entire all the five steps algorithm we will develop these five steps in the next video so this is a custom collection development algorithm step and now coding part we will see in the next video please try to recollect once again try to understand come to the next video for coding observing okay right so next to the code completed definitely i will draw full diagram about what i am giving here just a small shortcut diagram i have given now i will give you full diagram with clear understanding each and every step explanation i will give next coming videos okay so now in the next video we will develop the coding i hope you enjoyed this that's all for this session next session we will discuss about coding part subscribe to our narayshati channel for more videos and new videos 